Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Agent 317 returning, better known as Negro Domus. Uh, you're going to have to excuse my absence as of late because um, I've been making a few adjustments uh, career wise, and I got to tell you, third shift is a motherfucker. That is why I have to recalibrate my stance and get back to where I need to be. Hours that are more flexible to my time and uh, personal agenda. But that being said, I'm going to get into this. Um, this is a response to um, experiencing the blog talk you know, shows that I often go on on the weekends when I had the liberty to. And this one in particular is the Extra IMOT Show. Now, I know this uh, little ray of sunshine often has a uh, <laughs> lot to say on the behalf of black women and to the uh, brothers at large. But she happens to have a co-host by the name of Double I Amusement or Amuse the Great or whatever. And as you can see in the info box, I have left the link up there to hear for yourself. So I'm going to give a personal assessment and uh, moderate um, war report on my, sh on my time there. I've tuned into the show off and on because um, as an anti-hero... It is my uh, duty to research and assess the situation before I uh, delve deep into it. And the extra eye my show, the beginning shows, uh, well, let's just say uh, could use a lot more spice because, uh, well, more or less it needed Viagra. And I guess that um, that picked me up happened to come in the form of a certain monstrosity. Yes, uh, a renowned, a renowned uh, partner in crime against the bubbleheads at large. Um, he's been proven to be a reliable ally. But let me get back to my point. This show in particular happened to be about black business. And I came in just when the tide has shifted back to the issue standing within the black community. Now, maybe it's just me, but I find it hard to take any commentary or advice seriously from a moderator who speaks in the tone of an asthmatic Yorkie. Now, it's very difficult to be on a neutral stance when you internalize the very slightest things. That's why I told people you have to know how to pick your battles. Otherwise, you're going to be tired, wasting your shots and hitting nothing. And the enemy or opposition will easily take you over. Case in point. We were discussing quite a few topics, mainly on relationships. And uh, you're going to hear my views and personal stances of what myself or like-minded individuals like myself look for in a, in a woman. Now, of course, I have a real allergic reaction to manginas and simps because uh, these are the spineless dickless motherfuckers who sell themselves short for something that is overrated in most cases. I've always said that if I can get a piece, piece of pussy in exchange for a bacon sandwich with no bread, you Simpson manginas are fucked up in the game. And I stand by that stance. But... Stylistic happened to address 
these females in question what a completely direct and very informative inquiry that they need to answer it was either a yes or no <coughs> or they could not base their stance instead of taking the long route dancing around the issue or completely missing the, issue, uh, the question which is what exactly happened they, they took a roundabout way of addressing it and it spilled over to a complete audio clusterfuck and I will say this about uh, the host I do not know you personally but you and I have went back to you know went head to head on numerous uh, blog talk chat rooms and even on your forum and I do have to agree with the consistents out here that you are very self-serving combative and highly emotive I don't understand as to why you should get riled up over the slightest things now maybe things have taken place within your walk of life that you're not happy with and then again it goes to personal accountability for your decisions I've chosen my path and as I look back I know that Ronin Soul 75 has fucked up on a number of occasions but there comes a time to where I had to choose to bounce back or succumb to putting myself in a prison with no walls which is what I'm seeing with extra IMOD and a number of females like her you have a great number of children which happen to be the receipt of your decisions and based on how you are as an individual your individual your attitude and I'm not basing this on one experience this is experiences over a number of months everyone knows that you are not happy in your relationship everyone knows that you have quite a few flaws that many would like to exploit if they chose to do so me this is where I stand some jokes just write themselves I don't have to go on a complete tirade and talk about some demeaning things which I often take pleasure in doing if you're supposed to be helping the women in the community you're supposed to lead by example and I'm going to leave that there to marinate for a little bit now I'm sure this is going to be assumed as a personal attack it is what it is if you can feel what I'm saying cool if not go ahead and take your shots but as I say you need to go hard or go home but it's that like again it is your choice but that entire show in itself you have to see for yourself ladies and gentlemen because um, if I were to give this between uh, five stars I get one four on the moderation because uh, it begs me to question how can I take someone very seriously when they take a back seat to their own show y'all need to get back at me at that one after you uh... check out the video for yourself this is agent 317 signing off peace